Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. Why was my camera like this? I don't know, what are we doing here? Okay, hello, hi, welcome back to another vlog. So today is Saturday, it is June 17th. It is almost 6.30, it's like 6.25 at night, and I just wanted to come on here and start another vlog. Yes, I have makeup stained all over my shirt. Lord only knows how the hell that happened, but uh, I had a filming day today, which is why I have makeup on. I am getting ready to take a shower, wash all of this off, change my clothes. Wanted to start another vlog. Uh, this one's going to be very special because in this one we are going to be celebrating Jackal's 13th birthday. His 13th birthday is on Tuesday, and it's a really big deal because one, he's turning 13 years old, which is huge. Second, He's still around for his 13th birthday because he was so incredibly sick. We didn't know what was going to happen if he was even going to be here for his 13th birthday. So we're very excited. I have a present that I have to wrap for him later. So I got to do that. Basically today I woke up at about 8.30. I filmed a couple videos and then I did some cleaning. I vacuumed, dusted, dishes, laundry, all the usual. I still have another load of laundry to do apparently. And I'm also like 95% sure my washer is broken so that'll be a fun experiment later but I was doing a load of laundry earlier and all of a sudden I have never like I mean we all have anxiety right and you know when like anxiety spikes and like your vision gets all crazy your heart starts beating out of your chest you feel like the walls are closing in on you I literally experienced that because my washer <laughs> was washing the load that I had in there and it went into like the spin cycle I'm assuming be like out of nowhere my washer started rocking hard and it was so loud I have I think honestly I flew up my stairs I have never ran, ran upstairs so fast in my entire life and I immediately opened the lid of my washer to get it to stop right and usually when a washer does that it means something's out of balance there was nothing out of balance in my washer. It just like went haywire for some reason. So I tried to do like a couple different cycles and things and try different things. And it's just like, there's something really wrong with my washer and I don't know what the heck it is. But now I have this like new anxiety about doing laundry. There's something wrong with my washer. Like, what the fuck? Scared to do it now because that noise scared me so bad. I have a thing with loud, abrupt noises. And of course, my boyfriend's not here this weekend, so it was just me. So I'm thinking, like, my washer is gonna explode and, like, there's gonna be water and fire and just sh debris and shrapnel. Like, <laughs> So yeah, I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with my washer, but I mean, we have to do laundry because I mean, we can't just let this sit, right? Um, hi, welcome to another vlog. Welcome to my life. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah, uh, oh, it's dark. Hang on, let me go downstairs here. But yeah, I like to do all of my usual cleaning, deep cleaning on the weekends. It's just easier to do that stuff when it's just me here because I mean, my boyfriend's like, he's clean and stuff, but he's not like my level of clean. I'm kind of a clean freak. So I've just been cleaning, filming. I just finished editing a video that's gonna go up tomorrow. It's, I'm, I'm a little late. I don't like to go more than five days without uploading and tomorrow will be day six. So I had to get that done. The only thing left I have to do is, um, well, I gotta put my vacuum away uh, and I gotta put the mop away. I got to put dishes away. I gotta do laundry, which I'm avoiding at all costs because I'm now officially afraid of my washer. And then I have to clean my upstairs, which I'm probably gonna wait and do that tomorrow because I think, 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 hopefully, hopefully I can film again tomorrow and film a couple more videos. So I'll probably just wait to clean my upstairs after I'm done filming up there. But that's on the thing. And I'm really excited to like sit down for the night because I recently just started watching, re-watching from the very beginning, the old MTV show, The Hills, with Lauren Conrad, Heidi Montag, Spencer Pratt, you know, that show from like 2006. I found it on Paramount Plus and I was like, ooh, do I really wanna fall down this rabbit hole again? Yes, I do. Started rewatching. I'm like trying to like cover up my shirt because that is just so unsightly. Like what the actual hell? But yeah, I recently just started rewatching The Hills last night and I'm on like season three, I think. And so I really can't wait to sit down and watch that tonight. Like that's gonna be my plans tonight is after this video is done and uploaded and ready for tomorrow, I'm watching The Hills. I love that show so much. And it's so crazy to me because 
I literally remember the time when that show aired on MTV back in 2006. Like, I remember I was living in this little tiny trailer at the time with my mom and my sister, and I had a TV in my room that the cable was connected to. And I remember every night, eight, nine o'clock, when the new episode of The Hills would air, my sister would come sit in my room, we'd sit on the edge of my bed watching The Hills on this little tiny ass tube TV, and we would just, we loved that show. And now I'm like, 29 years old re-watching The Hills in my own plate. Like, it's mind-blowing, but yeah, it's it's so good. I've been really enjoying the petty, stupid-ass drama. Yeah, it's it's been good, so I can't wait to, like, sit down and watch The Hills again. But, um, right now, I need to take a shower because I need to get this makeup off. I need to just get out of these clothes, get into something new, and put dishes away. Should I put dishes away first? I don't know. And I really got to wrap Jackal's birthday present because um, my boyfriend actually got him that present. I wasn't I wasn't gonna get him a present because he is older, so like playing with toys isn't really like something he likes to do much. But he still likes toys. Like he likes getting toys and he likes opening toys. He doesn't like play all day like Avril does, right? But he still likes toys. So we were at the store and my boyfriend decided to get him a toy for his birthday. And I really want to wrap it because if you guys know Jackal, you know he loves ripping into paper and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap it for him and so he has something to open on his birthday. I'm gonna make him a cake. I have his candles and then I don't know what we're gonna, I don't know if we're gonna go to the beach with him or if we're just gonna take him on a WALK. Um, he likes doing both of those things so we're just, we'll kind of have to see like what the day entails and like how the weather is and stuff. So I thought I would just start another vlog and include that in there as well, like his birthday. I'm really excited. I have all these clean dishes to put away. I like loading the dishwasher and starting it, but I don't like putting the clean dishes away, if that makes sense. Let's put these dishes away so I can, you know, take a shower and not be gross. I always like to FIFO my bowl, so first in, first out kind of thing. I blame the the food industry for that, but I always, I always FIFO my dishes. If you don't do that, you should try it. And probably to the messiest cabinet of them all, my coffee cup cabinet. I have so many coffee cups. I even have more down here. Like, we, we have a lot of cups. I think one of the worst things to like put away and dry off a little bit more from the dishwasher is fucking Tupperware. There is nothing that infuriates me more than <laughs> fucking Tupperware, oh my God. I really wanna upgrade all of my Tupperware to glass because I heard that plastic Tupperware is actually incredibly bad for you and really, really unhealthy. Like micro tears that can happen in the plastic Tupperware and you're basically eating like plastic and that's not good. So I would really like to eventually get rid of all my plastic Tupperware and upgrade to glass, but that's pretty expensive. So that stuff is all done now. Now I can finally take a shower. I'm so excited. Even though I, should, I feel like I should probably eat something before I shower because I'm not really feeling that good. I'm feeling like my blood sugar is about to crash because I feel a little... <sighs> a little lightheaded, but... Nothing a little bit of Pepsi can't fix. Yeah, I already fed the dogs. I already took the dogs to the bathroom. So they're all set. So I should have enough time to take a quick shower. I just gotta get some of this makeup off. I know it's dark up here. I know my upstairs is like the abyss of hell. All right, so I'm upstairs. I'm in my bathroom. I'm ready. We're gonna shower. So I will see you once I look like a swamp rat again. <laughs> and swamp rat incoming. Hello. We are officially out of the shower. Ugh, I'm clean. Feels, I, I hate showering because I, that's just a long time to stand. Um, <laughs> but also I love it because I just love feeling clean. Like it's, it is just the best thing ever. Even though it felt really good to wear makeup today because I have not worn a beat, like a full face of makeup in 
like a month so yeah it felt really good to wear makeup today but it also felt really good to wash it the fuck off so I'm just gonna get my nightly clothes on I'm just gonna wear some red shorts and my Carrie Carrie white tee just gonna pop those babies on so I'll be back all right there we go nice clean clothes no makeup stains yes that is the best all right so let's do my little after shower routine I always q-tip and clean my ears when I get out of the shower I just make sure I go around each piece of jewelry just to make sure everything is clean go around the back of my ear make sure I got all the Oh, the makeup off. I forgot to freaking, I forgot to take out my tunnels when I showered. So I'm going to have to wash my tunnels tomorrow when I shower. I always run some soap with just my hands over my piercings every single shower because it's very important, even though they're healed, it's very important to keep them clean and stuff. So um, I always clean them and then I always kind of go over with a q-tip. Yeah, usually I pop my tunnels out so I can like wash my ears, but they weren't too, they weren't too cheesy funky. Um, <laughs> so I think I can get away with waiting one more day. Oh, I did also buy this Jeffree Star Skin Moisturizer. I avoided buying this for a really, really long time because I have very sensitive skin, so I really only like to use baby lotion as a moisturizer, but I really wanted to try this, and you guys, I'm going to be honest, I should have never bought this. This stuff low-key burns my skin, and it makes my skin turn really red, so I haven't used it in a few weeks. Let's put a little bit on. Yeah, ouch, ouch. Like, do you see my skin turning red? Oh man, oh, my skin does not like this moisturizer at all. And it's nothing against like Jeffree Star and his products. It's literally just my skin. Like I just can't, I just can't use this stuff, but I feel like I need to use it because it was kind of expensive. But I'm like, what am I, what am I actually doing to my skin right now? And yeah, there's always leftover eyeliner on my eyes. I really don't care. Like, I just, <laughs> do your thing, girl. Yeah, I might have to give this to my sister or somebody because I spent a lot of money on this, but my skin does not like it. The packaging is really nice, though. Nice. Ooh, my air just kicked on and I could, like, feel the, the cool air on my feet. Oh, excellent. Alright, I am showered, I am clean, I think it's time to eat, so let's go see what I feel like eating. I think my video is done exporting, so really quickly, I just gotta run it through and make sure. Yeah, so if you haven't seen that video, I don't know how to describe it, and then I like spilling my guts here. Okay. Cool, so that video is done and ready. I always like to like scan through it once it's done to make sure that there's no weird audio things. We'll get the next one in there and ready. Oh man, what a busy day. All right, so I'm thinking something simple for dinner and I have these like Stouffer's little like microwave spaghetti meals. That sounds kind of good. Oh my God, meatballs. I got meatballs. Fuck. I want meat sauce. Oh, I do have a meat sauce one. Okay, there we go. I think I'm going to have one of these. Um, it's just quick, easy filling, and they're delicious. I really like microwave meals. They're just good. Let me peel this back a little bit. Pop it in the microwave. It takes about six minutes to get done. I kind of want to try something. So my boyfriend, we went grocery shopping a couple days ago and he got these sweet peppers, like a bunch of them, like the red, the yellow, and the orange peppers. And I don't know why, but they, I don't eat peppers, okay? I'm not, like, I don't eat this kind of stuff, but 
for whatever reason, these look so good. I low-key kind of want to, like, cut one up and try one. Like, this yellow one right here, I don't know why. It just looks really freaking good. Yeah, I'm taking my nails off right now, so just... Get Okay, I really want to try one. Should we do it? Should we cut it up and see if I like it? Let's try one. Let's do it. Why not? It's Saturday night. Let's get wild. Doesn't that just look delicious? I don't know what it is, but it's just... I don't know. So let's try it just to... Let's just cut one up and eat it. I don't have anything to, like, dip it in. Like, I don't have any hummus or anything. But, God, there is just something so appetizing about how this looks. I don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna cut. Oh, there's like little seeds in here. It smells good. It's not bad. I don't know what, are these like seeds? I'm assuming they're seeds. I'm not very adventurous with food, in case you can't tell. Like I don't really try a lot of things. So the fact that I got a wild hair up my ass to try a fucking pepper, I don't know. <laughs> Jackal's over here begging. You can't have peppers, baby. You either. It's not bad. I don't think I could have like, I don't know, like I like the taste, but at the same time I don't. I'm just like scraping off the little seeds because I don't know, are you supposed to eat those? I don't know. Like I've always heard these are, these sweet peppers are really good dipped in like hummus or like, oh, I feel like guac would be really good. This is what you do when you're in your late 20s on a Saturday night. You take a shower really early and then you just experiment with sweet peppers in your kitchen. Well, I ate the I ate the whole thing except the little like top part here. I'm not going to eat that, but not bad. Not freaking bad. All right, my little microwaved meal is ready. My sketty looks really freaking good. It's just me, and microwave meals are the way to go when it's just you. I eat my food, and I'm gonna watch the hills for a little bit, and then I gotta get back to work, and I gotta make my thumbnail and upload my video. All right, here we go. Drama, drama. Oh, what a great Saturday night. Hey guys, so it's a few hours later. It's like 10 minutes to 11 o'clock right now, and I'm still watching the hills. I had to take a little bit of an intermission because I need to get some water because Heidi is about to meet up with Lauren. It's about to get dramatic. Like, I've seen this show, like, 50 million times, but, like, every time I rewatch it again, it's always so intense. I'm just going to make some lemon water in my little cup here. I just cleaned it today, but I have... This cup is so, like, used and abused. I should probably order another one, but I can't do that because while... <laughs> While I've been watching The Hills, I had myself a little shopping spree. I just spent like $200 on um, band and horror movie t-shirts. So yeah, it's safe to say that there will be a haul coming. Um, probably not until like the beginning of July because a lot of this stuff is going to take a while to get to me. Because one of them I had to like customize. I don't fucking know, but I'm really excited about it, so... Get ready for a, an Amazon and Hot Topic haul, guys, because I just impulsively decided to online shop while watching the hills. So funny, like, on the hills, they're all buying, like, designer stuff, like, designer bags and designer clothes, and they're driving their BMWs and their Mercedes, and I'm over here like, I need to find the creepiest, most fucked up t-shirt I can find. Let's have my lemon. I'm just gonna squeeze. Oh, I love lemon water so much. You guys want to know a weird thing about Avril? <laughs> I discovered this recently. So one day I was making my lemon water and 
she heard a bag open, so she got really excited thinking it was like food for her. And I was like, oh no, like it's just a lemon, trust me, you don't want to, you don't want to try this, it's, you know, you won't like it, because dogs don't typically like sour things. So I was like, okay, you want to try it? So I held the lemon out and let her just lick it. It's not bad, by the way, like a dog can lick a lemon and they'll be fine. It's if they ingest it, they can get a little bit of a GI upset, but she can lick it, like it's not going to hurt her. So I put the lemon out and I let her lick it. Avril likes lemons. It's like, it's the weirdest thing. Like, do you, you want to see this? Like, it's so crazy. Oh my gosh, there you are. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. For a lemon? Like, what? No, don't eat it. Look at her. Look at this. Do you guys believe that? Like, no, no, no. <laughs> Like, what dog, what dog on planet Earth likes sour stuff? Jackal, he won't even, like, come near them. He's like, like, he he tried to lick it, and he was like, you know, like. <laughs> the Avril, she, <laughs> she loves lemons. You're such a weird girl. Excellent. Oh, my gosh. What am I to do with you? She also likes drinking out of water bottles, too. Let's see if we can get her to do it. Are you thirsty? Do you want something to drink? Ooh, excellent. <laughs> Where do I find these weird ass dogs? All right, here we go. Let's go, Lauren. Get her, kick her ass. What? She brought freaking flowers. My God. Oh boy. So who would like a treat? <laughs> you guys want a treat? There's my treat. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Take it nice. Okay. Take it nice. Good boy. Good morning. Oh, I stayed up. Way too late last night. Oh man. But I gotta get stuff done today. So we are gonna get up. We're gonna get our ass in gear. Hey guys, so it is a little bit later. Um, it is currently 12 11 in the afternoon. I just finished filming two videos. I had a really hard time getting up this morning, but I got myself together. I did my makeup today. I don't really like how my foundation came out today, but my eyeshadow is fucking popping, okay? I love it. I used the Jeffree Star Pink Religion eyeshadow palette today. Uh, filmed two videos, so I am officially done for the weekend. Today is Sunday. It is June 18th today, and now I am getting ready to wrap Jackal's birthday present. I don't have a lot of like wrapping paper options, so I have like this gold wrapping paper, and then I had him pick out a bow, and he wanted the green bow, so we're gonna do that. I don't think... I don't think I have any happy birthday wrapping paper. Let me just like double check. I think this is, yeah, that's Merry Christmas. Uh, gold, gold is fine. That's a birthday color, right? So I'm going to wrap his birthday present, but I feel really bad because I have to, I have to kick him out of this room so I can do it because the toy is over here. I have it sitting on my desk and I can't wrap it while he's in here because he's going to want to like play with it and stuff. So I have to, I feel so bad. I have to kick him out of the room. So, um, yeah, let's get him out of here. All right, come on. Oh, Jesus. Come on, out. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he's giving me sad puppy dog eyes. Oh, my God. I feel so bad. I just wanted to wrap it for him just so he can have something to open on his birthday because he really likes doing that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we're just going to quickly wrap this guy. It shouldn't take me too long. Oh, my God. I have, like, kicking him out of here. Like, he is my little shadow. He's always by my side. So, the, like, he gave me the saddest look when I kicked him out and shut the door. Like, I'm so sorry. It's for you, buddy. It's for you. So. It's not going to be, like, the prettiest thing. But it. Oh. 
Oh, that's satisfying. Okay. I'll probably just... Yeah, it's definitely not going to be... There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> Jocko's birthday present is all wrapped up. And then we'll let him back in. Hi! Were you waiting for Bobby, honey? I had to wrap your birthday present. You couldn't take a peek, honey. Oh, he waited for me that whole time. Oh my god. Oh, yep. Yeah. Now he's sniffing around. He's like, what were you doing? Nope, it's not up there. <laughs> Nope, not up there. Where is it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm gonna pay those bills. I should probably just turn my computer on right now and get that ready. I have two bills I have to pay. They're not late or anything, but I just wanna pay them now before I forget them. I gotta pay my electric bill and my internet bill. And my electric bill during the warm months is always way higher because of my air conditioner. Yeah, it's only 108 this time. So, I mean, that's high, but it's not like, you know, it's been higher before. That one is done and printing. That's one thing I always do every time I pay a bill. I always print the payment confirmation because if something goes wrong and they tried to say I didn't pay it, I literally have a confirmation number. So I always, always print. Okay, internet, internet, internet. And that is one thing I don't do is I do not set up auto pay for my internet. Uh, I like to pay it physically myself every single month because Sometimes internet companies will slap on charges that don't need to be there and if I have auto pay they will just automatically take that money out. No, I like to review my bill, make sure that they're not slapping any unnecessary charges or fees or anything. I never ever ever do auto pay for my internet bill. Ever. And then I just like record all my bills that I pay in this little like home finance and bill organizer. I write down all my bills and then once they're paid I mark that they're paid and then in the little envelope slip here. So I know they're paid and if there's any issues, I know exactly where I can go to pull that confirmation number. I'm very, very organized in case you can't tell. I've been doing this for a very long time. Okay, um, let's see. And then the only other things that are coming out this month are my like 10 subscription services. <laughs> Cause I have, here's all the subscription services I have. I have Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Discovery+, Plus, Paramount+, Plus, Hulu, HBO Max, and Amazon Prime. I have so many subscription services, it's not even funny, but I don't care because I use every single one of them and I love every single one of them. HBO Max and Amazon Prime, my boyfriend pays for, but all the other ones I pay for. And the only reason I have Hulu, that I pay for Hulu, is for Family Guy because I love Family Guy. So the only other one I have to pay Physically myself this month is my heat bill, which I have a couple weeks before that's ready to be due. And all everything else comes out automatically. Okay, my credit card bill is paid off. My car payment is done. Cool. And then one of the last things I do is I go onto my bank account and I record everything in my check registry just to make sure that everything matches and there are no suspicious charges. So now all my bills are done and my check registry is caught up and there are no suspicious things in my bank account or anything like that. So yeah, okay. Wow, that is a lot of, uh, that was a lot of Amazon stuff coming out. Like all the like pending transactions, like Amazon, 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 Amazon. <laughs> Cause I told you guys last night, I went on a little bit of a, went on a little bit of a shopping spree. So that is done. Now, laundry time, which I'm a little scared to do because 
I am so afraid my washer is gonna explode. I just started a load of laundry and it sounds like everything's going okay, but it's still really knocking and rocking. Yesterday it was doing that, but like really loud and like shaking like it was possessed. So I don't know. We'll see what happens, but. Yeah. Open your present. Open it up. Good boy. What is that? Get a chuckleberry. Good boy. Loves it. Look at him. Hey. Did you get a toy? You like your toy? Daddy picked that specially out for you. Yeah. Wasn't that nice? Apple, it's not your day. No. <laughs> yeah, it's not your birthday. Would you like to say anything about our trip, young lady? I'm excited. Yeah? Yeah, Jackal's birthday. He loves this stuff. Speaking of beautiful and hot. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you look okay, too. Hey. <laughs> I knew you were talking about my car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I think it is.
Hey guys, welcome back. So it has been, let's see, there's the friend. It's been like four days since the last time I vlogged. Last time I vlogged was Jackal's birthday. So it is now Saturday, June 24th. It's like five o'clock at night. I have literally spent all day editing this vlog that you guys are watching. Oh my gosh, Jackal had such a fun birthday. Like, it was such a great day. We did have one incident of a little bit of reactivity from them with people walking by. Stop it. Other than that, it was such a good day. He had so much fun. He literally got to do everything that he loves to do. He got to open up a present. He got to go for a car ride, a hike, go to the beach, have some cake. He, I have not seen him that happy in a really, really long time. And I was just elated that whole day. It was a really, really good day. That was like another thing for me, going and doing that hike and going to the beach. It really made me realize just how beautiful Michigan is. Because like, usually I say I live in Michigan and I don't really think much of it, but Michigan is actually a really beautiful place. Like we have absolutely gorgeous beaches. It was just really nice to see the beauty of my state. I don't really go out and do that kind of thing very often, but it was it was really nice. The rest of the week, I worked Wednesday, Thursday, I spent the day cleaning my car. Friday, I worked and here we are, again, just catching up you guys on everything. But yeah, I'm probably gonna end this vlog here because I'm gonna start another one very, very soon because it, uh, I'm gonna be chopping off my hair in a few days and a lot of you guys want me to vlog it and I kind of planned on vlogging it anyways. This one I really wanted to just focus on Jackal's birthday. I apologize if some of the hiking footage was a little bit shaky. It was really hard for me to like, hold my camera straight and hold on to Avril the whole time I was walking, but I did the best I could to try to make it like flow nicely. And then of course I had to add in some drone footage as well. So, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed celebrating Jackal's birthday with me. If you did, as always, make sure you go down and give it a huge thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, make sure that you are subscribed, hit that red button, turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on another video from me. And I will see you guys very soon in another vlog with my new hair. I love you all very, very much. And I will I'll see you again soon. Bye.